Oh, it's Eli. Another Ask the Artist video. Today's question is, traditional or digital? That's an easy one. Mostly digital. I've gone pretty far into digital art the last couple of years. Uh, originally started traditional, pen, paper. Actually prided myself on being able to use whatever materials I found around. I would go into the fireplace, get a piece of charcoal, and make something nice, make a portrait. But end of the day, they're all tools. It's not so much what tool you use, it's more of what you're trying to get out of it. And a lot of my art these days is commission work and illustrations. And I go through a lot of them. So I found digital to be a little bit more convenient, a little bit more forgiving. And just, you know, it's fine. Traditional just doesn't forgive as much as digital does. And although I do like the process of making mistakes, growing, retrying it, in my adult life, I just don't have that type of time. I kind of need to get it, sprint, keep going, get on to the next one. Not to say I don't enjoy the piece. I do like taking the time to work on things. But efficiency and speed have always been a big part of my artistic uh, expression. So me being able to make comic books pretty quickly, being able to send files pretty easily, also being able to record it on my screen pretty easy has all proven to be very effective for my workflow. And I can get multiple uses out of each piece which I would need a lot more equipment to do it traditionally. That will be great. If I can make it big, get some more clients, make a living, I do think I probably would go to a traditional setup where I do more watercolor. I really like watercolor painting, and I could record myself doing that. But right now, uh, pretty poor. Don't have the space for it, don't have the time for it. So, yeah, that's just... The way the cookie crumbles, I guess. Maybe I misunderstood the question. If the question was supposed to be, what type of art do I like more? I actually do like traditional more. I like paintings. Me having experience doing traditional art, I understand how hard it is to do certain things. So when I see artists doing it well, I really enjoy that. Whereas when I watch or am viewing digital art, I understand that how many mistakes they can make, how Photoshop works, um, how certain tricks can be used. And it's not as impressive to me. And there are, of course, still some digital paintings or artwork that I are still impressive. But, you know, I think that's just higher-end art. You know, there's different arts that speak to you. Because I think the same thing exists in traditional art. Most traditional art, I'm like, oh, I know how that worked. And then there's, you know maybe 10% that I'm like, wow, I do not know how that worked. Thus, I'm amazed. <laughs> or I think it's also, oh, well, I know how that works and I know how hard that was to do. I'm amazed. But yeah, but outside of that, you know, I, I, I don't know. I prefer the story of a thing. I find that's tend to be what I focus on. Hmm. I feel like I backpedaled myself into nowhere. So do I like traditional or digital? Both both of them. Both of them. I like both. If it's someone else's art, I think I prefer traditional. And if it's, oh, Eli needs to make some art, I prefer to do it digitally. But, you know, in the end, it doesn't really matter. It's all about the expression and the experience and the story. You know, that's that's really what you should focus on. If you're watching this video and you're a young artist trying to figure out which way to go, do the thing that makes you happy, do the thing that sustains you. It's good to try to focus on that. Well, anyway, thanks for watching. I think I start making scripts for these videos so I don't go uh, wandering off down these rabbit holes and tangents. But anyway, hopefully you got something out of it. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one. If you have any questions you want me to answer, Please leave them in the comments, and also remember to like and subscribe and do all that stuff. Thanks again for watching. Bye.